So when you think of like these classic matchups of this powerful killer versus this incredible grappler, there's been only very, very few examples of the killer puncher winning that fight. It's very, very few. JDS Kane would be an argument. There's an argument there, and then he got fucking mauled twice in a row. Mm. But he caught him one time with that overhand right. Thing is, it's coming from a guy that weighs 240. Yeah. You know, a little different, man. A lot different, as we know, with heavyweights, right? Some guys get knocked out, and you're like, what the fuck? Did I hit him? And you can see it hit. They're heavyweights. There's more behind it. So there's that. So you think of other ones, right? I think of Weidman, Anderson, Silva. So you got to then ask yourself, who's a better striker, Anderson then, then, with a black belt in jiu-jitsu, mind you, mm. or Connor now, who's a better striker? When you answer that question, now who's a better grappler? Is it Khabib or Weidman? Weidman knocked him outstanding, but there's a threat of a takedown making striking better, as I mentioned prior. Which I think is what worked a lot for Woodley on last Saturday. I think that was takedown attempts Absolutely. initially. Absolutely, of early. course I think it that did. Was in Till's head. Yes, yeah, it wasn't a kickboxing match. It never is. Yeah. Right. So, does Khabib faint his takedown, jump up and hit him with a flying knee and knock him out? He could. Yep. Absolutely. Do I expect that? No. No, I don't think so at all. It could happen. Um, if he gets him down, could he just maul him and, and smush him into nothing? Yeah. Yeah, he does it to everyone else. What the fuck? He's done it to everyone else. With Ali, he was, like, having fun. And that was a triple opponent change in three days against a really, really tough Al. Like, Al, most people would have choked to that rear naked choke he had him in. I think could be realized that he wasn't tapping, so he just switched position instead, you know? Um, yeah, it could go that way. I Absolutely. do think it's a good point that when you have two really, really high-level fighters and one's a really high-level striker and one's a really high-level grappler, mm-hmm. the high-level grappler generally does win. Generally. Yeah. More, it's more, it's more like, and I'm not. saying it is in 60-40. It's like 90-10. Yeah. But there is that 10%. So people yes. need to rem- rem- remember And that. I think Connor has more than 10% of a chance. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. You know, like, because he's special. He's He's a special fighter. Yeah. But it, that special, is it so special? Again, if you're expecting this within the first minute decimation against a guy like Khabib who's never been seen at a disadvantage in a fight ever, he's 26 and all light heavyweight champion. Do you realize how fucking monumental that is? In the common comment, every one, one out of every 150 comments is he's beat no one. Sure. It's like, oh boy. You just start watching yesterday. You know, get the fuck out of here. In amateur MMA, it's hard to go 4 0. Yeah. Amateur. Fighting guys that live next door. This guy's from Dagestan. He's 26 and 0 professional. I think he's 10 and 0 in the UFC. Never lost a round. Dude, Nate Diaz is a journeyman, let's be honest. I like him, but he's a journeyman. I think he's got 12 losses. Mm. Let's start doing some, math, some, some, not MMA math, but some simple first grade math, right? Can you land a left-handed one? Yep. Yeah. Sure. I, sure. But I do have to say is that the reason why this fight is so intriguing as well is because when you look the at drama. what Connor has done to people who... A lot of people said the exact same things about other fighters. And in hindsight, you can say they weren't the same type of guy. Of course, like Jose course. Aldo. He's not the same type of guy oh as Khabib. But he was 25-1 at the time. And a lot mm-hmm. of people were saying, you, like, what's going to happen? Jose Aldo's going to leg kick him. He's gonna you, know, we saw, you know what we saw with Aldo before that fight? We saw a lot of the, yeah. We saw some razor close wins. Yeah, we saw the um, not the Korean zombie one, the one before that. Mark Hominick when he had the big lump on his head. When he put the the alien yeah. in his fucking forehead, yeah, yeah, yeah. hematoma. That was terrifying looking. Yeah, that but fight he lost seen the Aldo fifth being round. Finished like that either. And I'm not saying that Connor comes in and knocks Khabib out in the first round, but it is possible. Just like yeah, Khabib but all those are black belt in jujitsu. It's the Anderson Silva thing. Hmm? Although has the best, one of the best, he has some of the best takedown defense ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mendez insane, yeah. did to Connor easily what he couldn't do to Aldo for. He only did a few times over like ten rounds, or no, no, because the first fight ended in the first round, so six rounds. Yeah, six yeah. rounds with Aldo, he got like three takedowns, I think. Something like that, Missed yeah. about a hundred and fifty because all those takedown defenses is, is that good. Connor's isn't as good as Aldo's, but Aldo doesn't go for takedowns. No. Ever. Never. never. 
once when he hit a zombie when he broke his arm. He then shot a beautiful double. The thing is, it was beautiful. It was so fast. And it's like, why don't – I hate that he's just gotten rid of that in leg kicks. What the fuck? It's weird. So it's almost stupid, to be honest, on his part. It's, it's like ego, pride goeth before the fall kind of thing. Um, it's tough. It's tough, man, because I think people think I'm, I'm looking at this from this rooting. I'm not Russian. Are you it's, sure? it's not like it's not like that. It, it, it's not that. I just I don't like when someone gets so many free rides. No one's even talking about like Connor getting a. a get out of jail free car like none of these things are even being discussed yeah and then people compare the artem thing it's like these aren't those aren't the same man not where i grew up man not at all Mm. you confronting somebody and talking to them and not hurting them at all but confronting them face to face like a man and throwing something at a fucking bus full of innocent people being in any way comparable like you're you might be a pussy You, you might be a pussy if you think that way just saying sorry it's insane that um that the UFC are using well of course they're going to use it and the trailer yeah. is phenomenal yeah. to be fair it oh is the trailer is the trailer is fucking wonderful <laughs> yeah it's, it's still it's wonderful it's, it's the hypocrites like Dana that ruin these things yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. Well, it, it calling it, it deplorable and then just repeatedly having it on his TV and behind him <laughs> you know it's like alright dude I know I can tell you're offended 